Welcome back to Ballhead Metal, guys, and welcome back to another reaction to a band actually I wanted to do because I've always heard about One Tang and I've never gotten into my from what I understand it's like an extreme metal band, maybe like something like Primordial. Uh, so that was the reason I wanted to get into them or like more black metal, I'm not sure, with their single The Howling, which is a new one. I know they had some controversy around the band as well, which I vaguely kind of read about and I already forgot about. But I'm not going to mention all that here. It's more just kind of to let you know that I'm kind of aware of this band. I just never sat down to listen to them. If you are a fan, though, just be prepared that I might say things I dislike. But I try to be as respectful as I can be so that we can create interesting conversations about heavy metal on this channel. Because that's what it's all about. Yeah, I'm already one minute into it. I uh, obviously black metal, uh, classic black metal in many many ways. But I the thing that always got me at first turned off by black metal was how it could just feel like a mishmash of instruments. But I've learned to tune my ear to the melodies, and they got some killer fucking melodies going on in this song, and it's changing really really nicely. It's nice creepy atmosphere. Uh, so far, I really like it. Ah, get it. They're about there with the fan or the church burnings. Okay. Oh, it's one of those bands. I can separate myself from that, to be honest, uh, and listen to the music. Some people just are totally against it. It's like, hey, if this is something that this band support, I don't want to support them for that. For me, it's like, it's not that, I don't, shouldn't say it's not that serious, but like, I can still see value in the music despite the fact their morals or their actions outside of music are something i don't support uh i always i never like this kind of cookie monster like them taking themselves ultra serious blood all over their face uh, it's like it's borderline comical and then, i mean with bands that i like with all of them that's why i always liked immortal because they're kind of silly and they don't take themselves way too seriously and but musically it very much reminds me of something like nagelfar uh the heyday of nagelfar like their first couple albums and yeah, it's it's definitely there. And I, for example, I listened to Dark Funeral, and Dark Funeral was not this good. It's funny how desensitized we've become because 
people seeing Venom back in the day, seeing Slayer back in the day, were fucking terrified. And then when first Black Metal came out, people were just like, oh my god, they're Satanists. And now at 34 years old, I'm sitting, you know, listening to music now, I would say like maybe 25 years. Like, like seriously, listen to heavy metal for like 25 years since I was like 10. I'm listening to this and I want to laugh. Because of how seriously they take themselves. It's like, dude, it's a different era. Just like, let it go. It's fine. Um, one of the bands that, would, that was hard for me to support also was Argos Land. Because uh, in, in Cograble Bigotry, I think it was. And I forgot what the name of the album was. Killer fucking death metal album. And they're like tied with neo-Nazis and neo-fascists. So it's like, I am guess there's going to be a public for that. But, you know... Again, I, I, it, it's difficult. Where do you make your stand? Do you make your stand on every little thing? Uh, and you want to be principled on every little thing? Because at some point in time, I feel like you'll become hypocritical. And you won't follow a certain element because it's not in favor of what you believe. Even though you don't morally agree with it. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting preachy. Fuck that. Let's keep going. Musically, I liked it. Uh, all all the, the preachy shit to the side that I said. Uh, musically, it's good. It's very good. It, it's classic black metal sound. I've recently stepped away from the sound, to be honest. Um, because I feel like with, with the progression of music that's happening, sometimes this feels a little bit archaic. But in the right mood, if you sit down, oh man, this could be just like so atmospheric and creepy. Uh, which they obviously still possess, and it looks like they're coming back strong with this new album. Uh, that's how I feel about it. I would like to hear from fans of uh, Wantane, and obviously you can comment on anything that I said from here. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of disagreements. Uh, but it's just coming from a fan of heavy metal. I try to be as objective as I can be. I can't always be, right? You're always going to have some shape of um, bias or favoritism when you're doing these kinds of things. Because nobody is truly objective. With that being said, guys, make sure you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Keep it fucking metal.